Good morning, bonjour, mes étudiants. Aujourd'hui, on apprend les adjectifs possessifs, the possessive adjectives. Today, we are going to learn about the possessive adjectives. So, uh, let us see first what is an adjective. What is an adjective? So, as you all know, an adjective is something that describes a noun. Okay? Adjective sont les mots qui qualifie les noun. Hmm? It qualifies a noun. Then another major thing that is uh, the difference between uh, French and English is, ici, en français, il s'accord avec le genre et le nombre. That is, it agrees with the gender and number to the noun. Whichever noun it's describing, it has to agree with it. That is, if the noun is masculine, you have to use the masculine form. If it is feminine, you have to use the feminine form. If it's singular, the singular form, and plural, the plural form. For example, we can see a garçon chinois. A garçon chinois means a Chinese boy. You see, chinois, le mot chinois, the word chinois means Chinese. It is describing garçon, the word garçon. So since the word garçon is masculine singular, we use the masculine singular form chinois. The next example is une jupe verte, that is a green skirt. So here, jupe is a word that is feminine singular. So the feminine form of verte, that is green, is used. That is, we add a e. Huh? On ajoute un e avec vert. Usually the word is vert, that is V-E-R-T. Because it is feminine, we add vert, that is, we add an E to the word vert. Okay? So, you jupe vert and a garçon chinois. These are the two examples that I have chosen. Okay, now adjective possessive. Let's learn about l'adjective possessive, the possessive adjective. So, we saw what an adjective is and you know what a possession is. Now, let's see the rules of possessive adjectives. See, first rule is, l'appartenance à une personne à un groupe, uh, belonging to someone. Okay? The second one is, il s'accord en genre et en nombre avec le nom. It agrees in gender and number to the noun, just as how we saw in an adjective, okay? So these are the two uh, rules. And the second one is what we don't find in English, okay? It, we find it in French, okay? It should agree in gender and number. So these are the two rules of les adjectives possessive. Okay, so now let's see les adjectives possessive. Quels sont les adjectives possessive? You see, on anglais, on the my. In English, we just have one word, my. But in French, as uh, some words are masculine, some words are feminine, some singular, plural, it all changes accordingly. See, so first I have written the pronoun sujet, that is the subject pronouns in French. So for je, we normally use mon, that is in for masculine, singular. Masculine singular, we use mon, that is my. And feminine singular, we use ma. Uh, M-O-N here, it's uh, given in asterisks because we use it only when a word begins with a vowel. Next, we see the plural form, M-E-S, me. Okay, so all these words mean my. In English, we just have one word, my, because we don't have any difference between gender uh, in English. Okay? So, but here we, we learn that it is masculine singular, we have more. Feminine singular, we have ma. And here more is used for a feminine singular word beginning with a vowel. You know what the vowels are? Vowels are A, E, I, O, U and also H in French, okay? H is also considered as a vowel, vowel. 
H is uh, uh, mostly it is mute H, that is it is silent, it is, uh, it is, it is not pronounced, okay. And then the plural form may. The same thing applies uh, here for the pronouns sujetu. In English, we just have one word, your, but in French, for masculine singular, we use ta. For feminine singular, we use ta. And here, ta, as we saw here, in the asterisk, it's given ta. That is, ta is used for a feminine singular word beginning with a vowel. And te is used for masculine or feminine plural. Now, here for the pronouns usually il and l. Il and l, as you know, it means he or she. You see, on the song. Hmm? So, here we say the word song. Song can mean his as well as her. The only difference is it is masculine singular. Okay? It is a masculine singular. And here the word sa is used for feminine singular. This also can mean his or her. And uh, sa is given in asterisks is used for the words beginning with a vowel. And se is used for the plural form. So, hope you can understand children. Yes? Okay. Now, we will go to nu. What does nu mean? Nu means we. Okay? So, the possessive adjective of nu is notre. Notre means are. So, the masculine and feminine form is the same. Notre is both for masculine as well as feminine. Now, for the plural form alone, it is no. N-O-S. Okay? So, both these mean are. O-U-R. Okay? Now, next we see wu. For wu, same as notre, the masculine and feminine, c'est la même, it's the same. Hmm? Votre, and the plural form alone is vo, v-o-s. So, both of these mean your. So next is il and l, that is they. So, here also, the masculine and feminine singular form is leur, l-e-u-r. And the plural form is L-E-U-R-S. So, both these mean there. Hmm? So, all these show possession. Hmm? Ce sont les adjectifs possessifs. Il montre la possession. Hmm? It is mine, it is yours, it is hers, it is his, it is theirs. Okay? It shows possession. Okay? So, next we will see ce sont les exemples. We will see the examples. Okay? So, here the rule, the only thing that you have to remember here is see a norm femina sangulier common sparion voyel. If the uh, feminine singular noun, as we saw earlier, I had given an asterisk. We saw it in this table, these words given in asterisk in red letters. So, when these words to explain these, Things I have written. See a norm femina sanguine common sparion voyel. If a feminine noun begins with a vowel or uh, that is a e i o u and h mute, we use the masculine singular form. So, son lays exemplar. These are the examples of the words beginning with a vowel. The the feminine words that begin with a vowel. Huh? So, feminine words beginning with the same mon ami. Here the word ami begins with a vowel and it is feminine. We know it is feminine because it ends in e. Ami means a friend. So, here we know that the friend is a girl. So, we cannot use a vowel. Huh? We have to use a consonant. So, because of that we use the masculine form. Say mon ami. Huh? So, when we say it also it will sound good. Say mon ami. Okay. The next example is il parle de son histoire. So, we know the word histoire means story and it, uh, it, end, it begins with a vowel. We know that H is considered as a vowel. So, il parle de son histoire. So, here also we cannot use sa histoire because H is silent. Okay. So, we use the masculine form, son histoire. 
il par the son istwa that is he speaks of his story okay so hope you have understood this now we'll go to the next that is i have given some examples so that it will be easier for you so let's see j yun butyur that is i have a car say dash butyur it is dash car and the bracket mo ma me hmm so you have to choose which one is the correct option so we all know that butyur is feminine so because butyur is feminine we can write only ma we cannot write mo because mo is masculine singular and mes me is uh, the plural form okay now the next one is il a an ordinator he has a computer so il a an ordinator the word ordinator is masculine even though it was feminine because it begin with a vowel we have to use the masculine form anyway so he has a computer se dash ordinator so sa se so which is the right answer let's see so so is the right answer because uh, ordinator is a word that is masculine singular okay now the third sentence who's away they kaye you have some notebooks so here the word kaye is a masculine uh, plural word okay it's a plural notebooks so se dash kaye so what will you write here vatru vo te so it is your notebooks okay so vo is the right answer now news about these image you have some pictures some images so so dash image these are dash images so notre no leur notre no we know both mean r but notre is the masculine form and no is the uh, the plural form so here image here is plural so we have to use nos no l'ecole est près chez toi the school is near your house okay so say dash ecole it is dash ecole so all these three mean your we you know but which one to use so this it applies to the second rule that we learned that is even if a word begins with if a word begins with a vowel and it is feminine we have to use the masculine form so to is used here okay so hope this is clear now we'll just uh, go through what we have learned now we were learning about possessive adjectives so we know we have mo ma me huh? we know masculine singular feminine singular and plural now here we have to ta te that is masculine singular feminine singular and plural the next is so sa se that is his or her masculine uh, singular feminine singular and plural now notre and no we learned it means are this is masculine this is sorry this is uh, singular this is plural now next is votre and vo it means your singular and plural form and leur and leur both are pronounced the same although we have an s here so both of these mean there this is singular and this is plural okay so then we saw the rules about this then we saw the exercises uh, hope you are clear with the exercises merci